Hey guys, today I'll be showing you the easiest way to complete this Restronic Technical Task 6 using GitHub Codespace. If you haven't joined this Restronic Testnet, sign up right now using the link in the description and check out the video at the top of your screen to get started. Ignore the fact that it's showing as Task 4 here because this Restronic Dashboard has a strange way of numbering tasks. Now this task involves creating and deploying a simple smart contract, upgrading the simple smart contract by implementing a proxy and updating the implementation of the contract in your code and deploying the changes to the Swisstronic testnet. So now you need to provide the contract address of the deployed proxy, the link to the contract implementation replacement transaction and the link to your public GitHub repository. For this task, I'll be using Rama Node Script, so shout out to him. Now, the first thing to do is to set up a new GitHub code space with a blank template. So visit github.com slash codespaces and on the blank template, click use this template. Now wait for your code space to be set up and for your terminal to be active. Once your terminal is active, paste this code you'll find the link to the code in the description. If you see this pop-up, click allow. And once you paste the code, hit enter on your keyboard and wait for the code to finish running. Once you get this prompt, hit enter on your keyboard and hit enter again. Now press Y and wait for the code to continue. Now you'll be asked for your private key. As I've always said, do not use a wallet with real funds or the wallet connected to your Swisstronic dashboard for this task. Use a new wallet which you only use for the technical task. And this wallet should have the test Swistronic tokens which you've claimed from the Swistronic faucet to pay for gas. Otherwise, these transactions will fail. If you don't know how to set up a new Swistronic wallet, fund it with the Swistronic faucet, or get your private key, check out the link in the description. So once you paste your private key, if you see this pop up, click X to close and hit enter. Now wait for the code to continue. So now the code is complete. You need to scroll up because there are so many areas of this code that have been hidden. You can also use this slider here. You can slide it up to resize your terminal so you can see more info. So there are lots of info hidden in this terminal which you need to scroll up to find. The first one is the contract address of the deployed proxy. And this is what you're looking for, Proxys Systronic deployed to this particular contract address. So highlight the contract address and use Ctrl C to copy it. I'll save the contract address for the proxy in a safe place. You can also get the contract address of the proxy by opening the proxy contract.txt file. So if you click on it, you will find your proxy contract address here. So you can copy it. Now the next thing we are looking for is the link to the contract implementation replacement transaction. This code doesn't give the output for the link, it only gives the output for the transaction hash. So what we will do is to scroll down a bit to find the transaction hash. After the index undefined, you will see the hash here. So double click on the hash to highlight it and use Ctrl C to copy it. To get the full transaction link, add a transaction hash to this URL. You will find the URL in the description so it looks like this. After the last forward slash, paste your transaction hash and the URL will look like this. If you still find it difficult populating the transaction link using this method, just submit only the transaction hash. As long as you are submitting the correct transaction hash, your submission will be approved. Now that we've gotten the contract address of our proxy and the transaction link for the contract implementation replacement transaction, the next thing to do is to push these files to our public GitHub repository. So to do that, go back to your code spaces and refresh the page so you'll see the new code space you just created. This is the code space I use for the stacks. You can rename your code spaces to the tags that you're using them for. So to rename a code space, click on these three dots at the extreme right and click rename. Choose any name you want. So for this code space, I'll rename it to task six. Now I click save. So now my code space has been renamed. This step is in compulsory. It's just to avoid confusion if you have multiple code spaces 
so you don't end up pushing the wrong code space to your github repository so now to push this code space to our github repository click on the three dots at the extreme right and select publish to a new repository so you can give it any name you like i've already renamed the code space so i'm okay with tag six next thing to do is to select the public radio button because we want to create a public repository once you do that click create repository once your repository has been created click see repository and now our repository has been populated with our files from this task so the next thing to do is to copy the link to this github repository so you can do that by clicking on code and clicking on the copy icon it's time to go back to the swistronic dashboard for submission so go back to your swistronic dashboard and click on the deploy proxy task now scroll so you find the area for submission paste the link to the github repository you just copied and click submit paste the contract address of the deployed proxy here and click submit paste the link to the contract implementation replacement transaction here and click submit so that's it we've completed this restronic technical tax 6 if you haven't completed tax 1 to 5 check out the video guides in the description if this video has helped you like comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any issues, ask for help in my Telegram group. The link to the group is in the description. Join my Telegram channel for more Swistronic testnet updates, crypto airdrops, tips, and tutorials. Don't forget we are still in the season of Telegram airdrops, so check out the bonus section of this video description and sign up on some of the hottest Telegram airdrops today. So keep completing your Swistronic test net tags, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.